Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, a severe thunderstorm watch has just been issued for most of southeast Illinois. It's out until 7 o'clock tonight. No surprise here as we've got, of course, thunderstorms that will be rumbling through the tri-state. We've got a slight risk for severe weather to the west, a marginal risk to the east. We'll show you the parameters here in a second. But watch this means conditions are likely, and so uh, the warning's still a ways off. Let's hope, uh, but uh, hopefully we get a lot of these in and out before it gets too dark because that's always a problem. Nobody likes the thunderstorms at night. I will say this, though. The rain we had yesterday, thunderstorm, for the most part, thunderstorm-free, uh, we had a nice dousing, two-thirds of an inch at the Evansville Airport, and it really, I mean, just when I went out and checked my garden after the rain yesterday afternoon, it's like my tomatoes grew a foot. I mean, it, that rainwater just helps so much. And of course, yes, we got the severe weather threat to go along with these thunderstorms again, but another good dousing of rainwater before a dry weekend. So the weekend we've got to look forward to. The rain, we needed some, and we're certainly getting some. Here's our Superior Ag camera downtown Evansville on top of Fifth Third Bank. A uh, lovely view there of the river. And of course, southwest part of town too. And we've got a few clouds out there. We've seen the mix of sun and clouds, and that's going to be the case really throughout the course of the afternoon. A mix of sunshine and clouds with a few showers and thunderstorms firing up. Uh, best chance will be late in the day. We'll take a look at the timing here in a second. Plenty of traffic out there on 66 and 69 heading in and out of Vandenberg County into Warwick County. Of course, that's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at Deaconess Gateway looking at the east side of town. Well, you couldn't even see Smothers Park, let alone the Blue Bridge, for a good chunk of the morning for the fog. But the fog is lifted. Now we've got a part cloudy sky, a little bit of boat traffic out there, some barge traffic on the Ohio River. We already saw that one long barge running. And plenty of traffic, of course, cars and trucks there on Highway 41, just south of the Twin Bridges. That's our Heads Construction Tower Camp shot out in the backyard. Right now, 77 degrees. The dew point's up there. It is humid out, and that's going to be the case throughout the rest of the day. Now, we've got a cold front pushing through, though, just in time for the weekend. It's going to knock that humidity down, but you're going to sweat it out a little bit today. South-southwest wind at 7 miles an hour. It's going to be a little bit warmer today, too. Of course, we had plenty of rain yesterday. 81 degrees right now, Flora. 78 in Fairfield. Most of us right now in the upper 70s. Look at all the 77s on the board to join Evansville. It's also 77 in Henderson, Morganfield, Dixon, Calhoun for Mama. 77 in Greenville, and it's also 77 in both Owensboro and Tell City. So a lot of us clocking in at 77 degrees. It was a beautiful moon, and I don't know if you caught it. Hopefully you did. Of course, we've had some clouds over the past couple of nights. But that only adds to the effect of that full moon. Now, last night it wasn't technically full, but it's full enough the night after uh, the full moon. And this is a great shot from Shirley Middleton. She got this in Panther Creek. And, of course, that's just outside of Owensboro in Davis County. And I love the reflection of that full moon, the full flower moon off the water there. Shirley, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Well, here are the parameters on that severe thunderstorm. Watch this out again until 7 o'clock uh, tonight. And that is for the northwest corner of the tri-state, but it does include Fairfield out there. So we've got that on the board. Looks like a little bit of rain has cropped up, and we've got a chance for a few showers out there. As we take a closer look at that batch, kind of pushing through the Carmi area, we're not expecting anything severe from this. It's going to be the thunderstorms that move in later on today that could be a bit of a problem out there. And we've got all threats in play, but it's going to be mainly a damaging wind threat. But in that northwest corner, that's where they bumped up that risk for a little bit of tornado activity uh, from basically a 2% chance to a 5% chance. Already starting to see some thunderstorms bearing down on St. Louis. Lines starting to develop down to the south as well. So we're going to keep our eyes on this thunderstorm complex as it moves across Missouri and heads towards the tri-state. And we've got that mix of sunshine and clouds out there. And of course, plenty of moisture to work with with that humidity up. And that rain yesterday, too. Again, maybe a few showers before. Now, our future tracker has been very consistent in bringing this line of thunderstorms in the middle of the afternoon. It's 3.30, basically knocking on the door to the northwest. And then as it moves in, it's actually sped up the progress toward the Wabash River. So some faster moving thunderstorms. But you can see that broken line of thunderstorms moving along the Wabash. That's at 5.30. Earlier, it looked like it'd be around 7 o'clock. Now it looks like it's going to be a little bit earlier than that when we see these scattered thunderstorms pushing through the Evansville Metro. And it's weakening as it moves to the east. That's the reason why the greater risk for severe weather is going to be to the west and lesser chance of farther to the east. And then these scattered showers and thunderstorms continuing on into the night. Other guidance is indicating it be a little bit later that we actually see this line, but they're kind of coming in uh, to basically agreement now that we should see these thunderstorms in the afternoon and early evening. And this out of the picture, now we are going to be seeing a few showers out there first thing in the morning. Earlier runs of Future Tracker, a little more impressive than what we see first thing tomorrow. So uh, we're going to be seeing a few scattered showers out there for a Friday morning. Should be diminishing as we head into the afternoon, but the latest run indicates the rain could stick around into early afternoon for our Friday. And then we're going to be windy and cooler tomorrow too, but the weekend still looks fantastic. Let's take a look at the rainfall forecast. Of course, we already had two-thirds of an inch at the Evansville Airport yesterday and even heftier totals in a lot of other areas, including in the Evansville Metro. 
better than an inch estimated in several locations. And now we're talking about rainfall amounts with these faster moving thunderstorms and they are going to be scattered about anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch is what it's looking like right now. Where's well, that slight risk? It does include Evansville and points to the west. So the western half of the tri-state, a little greater risk for severe weather as the storms move in from the west, weakening as they move to the east. That's why we still have just a marginal risk to the east, and that's an isolated threat that's out there. And they bumped up that tornado threat to a level two risk. Again, that's the northwest corner. Uh, that is basically Fairfield, uh, northern Wayne County, and also includes Clay and Richland County. Elsewhere, though, and the, including Evansville, we've got that level one risk on a tornado. You've got a hail risk that's out there, too, at a level one, and a damaging wind threat that's a level two, a 15% chance of damaging winds, where we have that slight risk for severe weather. Here's my forecast for today. Mid to upper 80s for a high today, so warmer, yes. And a little on the humid side, showers and thunderstorms possibly severe out there. And we've got that watch that's now in effect until 7 o'clock for parts of the tri-state to the northwest. A southeast wind shifting to the south at 5 to 15 miles an hour. And over the next seven days, a little bit cooler tomorrow, windy too. Got the chance for rain. And our latest run says the rain kind of extends into the afternoon. But the best chance is going to be in the morning. And then over the weekend, couldn't ask for a much better Memorial Day weekend. If you can stand it a little cool in the morning, check it out. 53 degrees on Saturday. Keep in mind, it's going to be less humid, a lot less humid than what we have out there right now. 74 high, that means most of the day is coming in the 60s. 77 on Sunday, check out the morning low on Sunday. If you get up early enough, we're talking upper 40s, mid to upper 40s, and then right around 50 on Monday. So all three mornings over the weekend will be cool, but the afternoons looking good. Less humid, 77 on Sunday, maybe a little bit too cool for the pool on Saturday and Sunday, but it'll, it'll hit 80 degrees on Monday. They got that rain chance creeping back in after the holiday weekend, but not before that holiday weekend ends. It looks good, and so does this. Beautiful start to the morning, a little foggy mountain sunrise. Well, no mountains there, but I mean, we've got <laughs> the Potomac Mountain. That's a big mountain over there. <laughs> it's a mountain of grain <laughs> elevators over there. Uh, but we've got uh, the Potoka sunrise. Logan Brown got that wonderful shot. It was a beautiful sky to go along with the fog. And Logan, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Well, I think the Potoka Mountain is behind the fog. Is that what yeah, it is? When the fog goes away, you'll see it. We'll be back with more lifestyles after this. Oh, my God.